Hi, I'm Andy Joles for VideoCreditScore.com. We're talking about credit score factors, and today we're talking about amounts owed. And the question is, how much does the credit score get impacted by the amounts that you owe? Well, this is the second most important factor. Uh, this is 30% of your credit score, and if you combine this with payments history, together they make up 65% of your score. And that's why I've said that you should really focus on these two pieces. They're really the two most important pieces. But this one is really about amounts owed, so let's talk about that. Amounts owed, here's the steps that I want you to take. You're trying to actually keep your balances low. So the first thing I want you to do is to get into the habit habit of paying off your credit cards twice per month. You probably get paid twice per month. Most of us do. So get in the habit of setting a you know a date around the date of your pay date and just getting in the habit of making payments twice per month. Now what that does is that reduces the amount of reported balances that are getting reported to your credit file and you're paying ahead of time. By the way, when it comes to uh, business credit, you actually get rewarded. It's very well documented that in business credit, you get rewarded for paying early. So in a sense, that's what you're doing here. By paying twice per month, you're gonna actually benefit your score because your balances are gonna be lower. Now, the other thing you can do is you can set the closing dates and the due dates for all your credit cards, and you can put in little reminders to make a payment before the closing date, because the closing date is the date where your balance is essentially set, and they take a snapshot of your balance, and then it's sent over to the credit report. So. I like the paying twice per month method better. It's just an easier discipline to kind of put into place, but the second tactic is a good tactic as well. So the other thing that I want you to think about is credit limit decreases. This is something that's really starting to happen right now. Um, Amex has reported that they are uh, decreasing limits on a, a larger percentage of their portfolio than they've had in previous years. So this is really starting to happen. You can read about uh, this quite a bit in the press. So be on the lookout for this because your credit utilization ratio is what's key here. You want to keep your balances low and your limits high. So if you're in a good situation where you feel like you can ask for a limit increase, then go ahead and do that. That's going to help your score as well. Remember, limits high, balances low, and those are really going to be things that impact this credit score factor. You want to learn more? You know where to come, videocreditscore.com. Friend me up on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and we'll see you soon. Remember, everyone's situation is different. Be sure to contact a financial advisor or a credit counseling professional before making important financial decisions. This video broadcast is for educational purposes and not a substitute for receiving personalized professional advice.